venison spaghetti coming up. Chop up some garlic, some onions, and start getting your um, meat ready. Go to North Dakota, get yourself a mule deer. Ha, ha, ha. And uh, look at getting your red pepper together, how much you want. I used almost a teaspoon. Um, getting sea salt is what I use. Uh, if you're not using any other salted products, uh, get your Italian uh, seasoning ready and your oregano. But that's sort of on the side. So you put your onions and some oil. I always use either um, olive oil or coconut oil. Uh, put your meat in there after the onions are, um, you know, sort of soft and start browning your meat. Put your uh, garlic on top of your meat. Brown all that together and throw in your salt and your cayenne pepper. And so get all that nice and brown and then start putting your um, tomatoes in. Now, I use a garden mixture just because we have a big garden, so I cook it down every year, and I throw in leftovers, you know, if it has anything to do with tomatoes. But you, on the other hand, can use some good tomato sauces, uh, uh, spaghetti sauces. I would use at least two for that much meat, and uh, what you see there is just a brick. Anyway, that's my frozen brick. Anyway, um, getting that thawed out, so putting in my squished up tomatoes and my pizza sauce. And um, just let that start cooking. Put all your seasonings in at this point for the spaghetti sauce itself, unless you're using a pre-done spaghetti sauce. So let it cook and thicken up a little bit. And When in doubt, ask the expert. What do you think, Tater? Needs a little more time to cook? Yeah, I think so, too. So let that cook on down and simmer, and then you know how to make spaghetti, or unless you're a new cook, you just boil water, uh, put some olive oil, some salt in it. That little thing is nice that prevents that boil over, and it taps out when the water boils. It's sort of a neat little thing. Um, so keep your water boiling, put your spaghetti or whatever kind of pasta you're going to use in there and, and uh, follow the directions on the box or if it's fresh you know how to do it because you knew how to make it. And when it's done, drain it in a colander and I put it back in the pot because it's just the two of us so it just stays hot until we're ready to serve. I never know when Warren's coming in from the field. So, there you go. All I had on hand were garlic uh, bagel chips, but be good with a nice salad and everything, and I love the leftovers.